Hey there, Brick Fun family. Fantasy Geek Girl here with Clueless in Brickland. So the family has been planning and working on our Lego city, and it's coming together nicely. Even though Dad's not letting us build most of it, I don't want to be a whiner about it, but I wanted to surprise him with a 7-Eleven and Del Taco mock since he goes there all the time, but he wants to do them himself, he said. What can we build for our city then? I have no idea. The theater, maybe a library, a museum. We'd love those. Didn't you get this bookshop for us to do together? Yes, but he did it first, and he didn't even film himself building it. Well, we'll at least do a tour of this video, a lighted tour which is the best. And turn it into a haunted bookstore, kind of like the haunted library in the Ghostbusters movie. He won't like that. He can change it back after Halloween. <laughs> okay. So, here's the bookshop, set number 10270 with 2,504 pieces and five minifigs. This three-story set comes with two buildings, the actual bookshop plus a townhouse, which is a nice unexpected bonus. Architecturally, this set has a more classical design compared to some of the more American modern city builds. You know, like the diner, which is more modular? This has a slightly European design. The actual designer modeled it after his hometown in Amsterdam. It still fits to any city, really. I mean, real life cities have their neighborhoods with different styles of architectural design, right? True. LA is a good example. You can find many different architectural styles here. Craftsman, Spanish Mission, Art Deco. Hmm, interesting history lesson, but once again, we're getting off topic. Lego. <laughs> okay, okay. So this bookshop is named Birch Books, and there is a birch tree planted right in front of the entrance. You can tell it's a birch tree by its bark. Look at the detail on that bark. The set comes in autumn colors, but you can change those out, especially the plant foliage, for different seasons. Outside the entrance, there's a little newsstand on top of with a newspaper and then probably some discounted for or free books. The build comes apart to show three levels. The shop has a lot of retail space on the first floor with bookshelves and a cash register. Then the stairs go up to the second and third stories. I don't know if the second story is for customers as a reading area or if it's just an extended living space for the top floor apartment, but there's a reading room, grandfather's clock, and a sitting chair. Well, it could be for either. The windows open up and a glass door opens to a balcony with a sitting area where you could have a cup of coffee while you're reading a book. And more stairs go up to the top story that has a cute little bed next to the windows. And what is that? Oh, a cute terrarium with a teeny tiny lizard. Oh no, take it out. <laughs> Fantasy Geek Girl has a very bad reptile phobia, like they haunt her in her nightmares. Oh no, I would take it out. You can turn it into an aquarium or planter, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, I, I, would, I would do that. <laughs> Next door, there are three stories, but a lower level basement is under the first floor. There's not a lot of headspace. It's called a crawl space. Not really living quarters, but more for storage, I think. For boxes of Lego. <laughs> Look at the radiator heat coils. So much detail. Now outside in the back, there's a tiny garden that you can change out for every season. We put pumpkins out there because it's fall now. In the front area of the townhouse, there's a living room and dining area. When you take off the roof, you can see another bedroom. The windows can, don't open, but you can open a small plant area of window box. The drawers in the dresser use tiles and they don't open either. Sometimes in these builds you can open the drawers. Did you see the title of that book? Oh, <laughs> Moby Brick, cute. Yeah, that little um, accessory is used in more than one set, I noticed. But what a dream to live next door to a great little bookshop like this one, huh? Yeah, and the five minifigs include the older woman with glasses who said to be the shopkeeper, though you can make up any story you like. And then there's the older man. A middle-aged man and a middle-aged woman and a child with a little toy. Maybe they own the bookstore and they all run it together. Oh gosh, and they take their break sitting in the garden or reading in that great big bay window. Like I said, you can make up any story of them you like. You've always liked bay windows, which surprises me because you're such an introvert and I didn't think you'd like looking outside at the people passing by. As long as I'm separated by thick glass, yeah. Huh, like a zoo animal, people stare at you. That's what curtains are for. Hmm. Anyway, there's no light kit or a special light kit for Lego for this set, but there are several companies that have created lighting kits such as Brick Loot, Bricks Max, and Light My Bricks. Check prices and shipping charges because they vary greatly. 
and look closely to see that they provide specially placed lights. After all, that's why you're buying lights or you can just stick to any strand lights. You know the ones you can get in craft stores for fairy lighting? And those can work too for general lighting and they're much more affordable. If you can carefully place those types of lights, good for you, you'll save money. Some light companies make better fitted light sets, but with some, the wiring can hang or show if you're not careful. Dad really likes light tailing, which makes the lighting kits for this bookshop, so let's turn it on. Wow, when you look at this build at eye level, it has such a realistic look. Yeah, it really does. The corner street lamp is lit along with the two lamps that flank the front door of the townhouse. Oh wow, look, the birch tree is lit by a floodlight. Yeah, the rest of the interior lighting is generally lit, meaning that the fixtures have no special lighting, like in the Hocus Pocus cottage where the chandelier lights and the candles were individually lit. Yeah, but you still get a realistic feeling when you look at the building and it's all lit up. I know. Oh, I can't say enough about this set. I thought the Sanderson cottage was well lit. Maybe it was the way we put in the lights incorrectly that left a lot of wire showing. This bookshop build has better placed lights and wiring. It is simply gorgeous. Well, there you have it. The Lego City bookshop set with next door townhouse. You don't need to be a book lover to want this set in your city. Please stay a little longer and watch our stop motion that shows what happens at night in this place when not all ghost stories are to be found on the bookshelves. Until next time, Brick Peeps, play well. Bye.